2000 Cadillac DeVille. Beautiful car, rides and handles well until the rear knuckle pushings wear out. Hey Jim, this 2000 Cadillac, what's wrong with it? The rear bushings, the lower bushings and the rear wheel are bad. Can you show me how you can tell they're worn out? Sure. Simply by wiggling that rear wheel, he's finding some clunking and rattling of the rear wheel. Suspension Max has got an answer for that. We're going to show you how it works. <laughs> I want to show you guys the choppy variable tire wear that accumulates on these cars because of the worn steering knuckle bushing. It's impossible to keep the rear end aligned when you got worn parts on the back. We're going to fix that right now. The lower knuckle bushing is completely wiped out. All we're doing is using a pry bar on the top to simulate the movement of the bushing. To remove this lower bushing, we've removed the lower mounting bolt right here. We're going to use a pry bar like this, and by lifting up on the steering knuckle, this whole unit lifts up. Now we're going to place a, a block in here on the upper control arm, allowing us to get total access to the lower control arm bushing. Suspension Max has got the answer safely remove and install our knuckle bushings or SS modules. This tool that we designed specifically for this application simply installs through the existing bolt hole. The receiver end goes on the opposite end, installing the nut. And that's ready to pull out. Sweet, that knuckle bushing out of there. Look at the rust fall out. It's all in that cup tool right there. Reverse the direction, take the nuts off. Piece of cake. What do you think of that? Is that slick or what? A little clean up and we're ready to put the new one in. We're going to change the upper control arm bushing on this by simply removing this bolt. You can see it right here. Once we pull this bolt out, look at there. The top knuckle bushing is ready for removal. It's that quick. Pull the whole thing out. Look at that. The knuckle bushing is out of there. Did you see how that was done? What do you think, Jim? You like that? Yeah. Yeah. You can see dollars when you're doing these babies. We're going to repair this car with the suspension max kit. What this is going to have. Two of the required knuckle bushings for the lower control arm. Suspension Max module bushings. Ready to be installed. We're going to take off this snap ring, which is going to allow us to install it. The other patented item, we knurl the outside of the bushing so that it's guaranteed to fit every housing. Ready to install it, so show us how it's done. This is the Cadillac up, and it's going to torque again right here. Okay. I got an Inger saw so done, so. Alright. Once he's got it started, we're going to reverse this big cup. And he's going to put the nut back on. 
We had it reversed to start it, and now we're going to put it this way to receive it. You can see how that bolt is just going to make it so that you can put it back in. Let's see if we got the tampering through. Sure enough, it's all the way seated when you can imply or install the backup snap ring. You're going to install the backup snap ring. And that's done by simply putting it on that easy. That bushing can go nowhere.